एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम So welcome back to the part two of the video. So in the first part, we have understood what do we mean by contour integral, what do we mean by simply and uh, multiply connected region, and Jordan curve. Hi, I'm Dr. Neelam from Department of Applied Mathematics, Delhi Technological University, Delhi. For more details of the subject, you can refer to the book from S. Chand Publishing. Details of which is given here. and link is given in the description box so in this part of the video we will solve the question on uh, by for contour integral so we'll take first question that we need to evaluate this 2xy minus x square dx plus x plus y square dy and we have already made it clear in the previous video that if the sign is there over this integration sign it means that c is a closed curve so we need to, the definition for c so c is the region bounded by the curves bounded by y equal to x square and y square equal to y square equal to x so we need to evaluate this contour integral so first of all we need to uh, uh, draw this region of integration so that is we need to draw this c so this is so this is the interaction point so as we say that the uh, direction positive direction is going to be the a uh, counter clockwise direction so this is y square equal to x and this is x square equal to y so let us call it as c1 and c2 c1 and c2 and this this is our origin and this point is 1 1 because the point interacting point is 1 1 so we need to evaluate this integral so this is c 2xy minus x square dx plus x plus y square dy now here we can see that entire region c has been divided has been covered with the help of two curves that is c1 and c2 so we need to divide this integral into two parts where this integration will be calculated over c1 and thus the same integration will be taken over c2 so we need to take the path separately that along c1 what will be the integration and along c2 what will be the integration and then the sum of those two integration will be taken to find out the final value of this integration okay so now first we will calculate this along c1 okay so along c1 so along c1 this is y equal to x square and along c2 equal this is y square equals to x so along c1 the curve is y equal to x square and the uh, point is moving from 0 0 to 1 1 so either we need to convert the entire integrand in terms of x or we need to convert the entire integrand in terms of y using this relation for the definition of this curve so since it is easy to convert uh, x in terms of y because the relation is given as y equal to x square therefore along c1 we will substitute y equal to x square now since the integrand involves dy also therefore we need to find out dy from this and dy from this is coming out to be d of x square which will be written as 2x dx so we have to be extra uh, extra cautious while uh, calculating this integrand in form of this so we need to convert this integrand so 2x and y will be replaced with x square so it is x square minus x square and it is given in terms of dx only so we will not convert that and then x plus 
y square. So y square will be x raised to the power 4 and then dy will be replaced with 2x dx. So it is multiply 2x dx. So that's how the entire integrand will be written along c1. And along c1, since the variable of integration is dx, therefore we should substitute the value of the limits for x. And in along c1, we can see that x is moving from 0 to 1. Therefore, we will be taking this value from 0 to 1. So we will integrate this uh, uh, integration. So this becomes 2x cube minus x square and since this entire integrand now is with respect to x dx so therefore we will be taking it out so it becomes 2x square plus 2x raised to the power 5 dx so this is coming out to be 0 to 1 2x cube plus x square plus 2x 5 dx and if we look at this integrand so now it has been converted into a single integration which is written in terms of x and the limit of x are already given to us therefore we can calculate this value easily so it is coming out to be 2 by 4 plus 1 by 3 plus 2 by 6. So it is coming out to be 7 by 6. So, this is along the path C1. Now, we need to uh, calculate this, uh, the, the integrand along the path C2. So, along the path C2, when we will calculate, now there will be a problem that in this one, this direction is very, very important. Therefore, we will be very careful while taking this direction. So, we will take this along C2. So, along C2. So, if we redraw the figure. So, the figure is something like this. This is our C1. This is our C2. And this is the point 1, 1. And this is the direction 0. So, this is y equal to x square. And this is y square equal to x. So, the integrand is C2 2xy minus x square dx plus x plus y square dy. Now, along C2, the curve is y square equals to x. So, we use this relation y square equal to x to either convert the integrand in terms of y or the integrand in terms of x. Now, since it is easier to uh, convert it in terms of x, so we will convert it uh, here. Now, for Conversion, we need to convert the dx also. So, if we calculate, uh, if we find out dx from this one, so it is coming out to be 2y dy because it is d of y square. We have already made it clear in the first part. Now, the most important part here is that along C2, the direction is here. And therefore, we need to take the value of the limits for y in this direction only. Therefore, the value of the integration will, the value of the limits for integration of y, d, uh, y, we will be taking it from 1 to 0. And it is 2. Uh, uh, x will be replaced with y square. So, it is 2y square dot y minus x square will be y raised to the power 4 and dx will be converted in form of y. So, it is 2 dy and plus x will be converted into y. So, x is equal to y square and plus y square as it is and dy will be retained as it is. So, integration will be from 1 to 0. So, it is coming out to be 4y4 because we will multiply by this 2y also minus 2y raised to the power 5 and plus 2y square dy. Now we have seen that the entire integrand has been converted into one variable that is y and we know the limits for y also. So it is a simple integration to in, uh, do now. So it is coming out to be 4 by 5 minus 2 by 6 plus 2 by 3. So it is from 1 to 0. So, it is coming out to be minus here and this value is coming out to be minus 17 by 15. Now, we can see here that this minus sign is appearing because of this direction. 
So we cannot ignore this. Therefore, the value of the integral c 2xy minus x square dx plus x plus y square dy is coming out to be 7 by 6 which was the integration uh, which was the value of the integration along c1 and minus this is the value for integration along c2. So this will be the total value for the integration for this contour integral over this c where c has been divided into two parts c1 and c2 and where the direction was taken as a negative for c2 because y, limit of y needs to be taken in the direction of the curve. So that's how we will calculate the contour integral. We can take one more example for this. So we will solve one more question for contour integral in which we will be evaluating this integration z bar dz from z equals to 0 to z equals to 4 plus 2i along c. But we have given the path that we need to follow this path that first we will go from line z equals to 0 to z equals to uh, 2i and then the line from z equals to 2i to z equals to 4 plus 2i. So we can uh, look at this one here. So it is coming from when it is taking line from z equals to 0 to z equals to 2i that means we are going from the point 0 0 to 0 2. We are going from the point 0, 0 to 0, 2 because here the real part is 0 and imaginary part is 2. Therefore, the points coming out to be in x, y uh, plane as 0, 0 and 0, 2. So, when and when we will take the line from z equals to 2i to z equals to 4 plus 2i, then we will be moving from the point 0, 2 to in this one, this 4, 2. And that's how we will be reaching from 0, 0 to 4, 2 by, achieve, by taking this path that from 0, 0 to 0, 2 and then 0, 2 to 4, 2. So you can, uh, uh, if we draw this here, so it is x, y, so it is 0, 0. Then it is coming out to be 0, 2 and then it is going from here to here. So it has been taken this path. 0, 0 to 0, 4, 0, 2 and then 0, 2 to 4, 2. So this point is 0, 2 and this point is 4, 2. So that's how the direction is this. The direction was this but we have taken this path that we are going from this portion and then this and then we are coming out to this. So that's how the uh, we have been restricted that this path needs to be followed. So, uh, when we will evaluate this integration, so this z bar dz, so this will be converted z bar, we know that it is x minus iota y and dz will be written as dx plus iota dy. So, we can multiply this thing. So, it is x dx minus iota square y dy. So, this one plus iota x dy so it is with this one and then this one and then x i iota dy minus iota y dx so we can resolve the real and imaginary portion out of it so if, then we will take the line z equals to 0 to 4 i so we will be we will be writing this uh, integration as so this is x dx plus y dy this is the real part and then imaginary part is written as x dy minus y dx. So along this line z equals to 0 to 4i it is going from the point 0 0 to 0 2. It is clear to us that the point the x is not moving the x has been fixed because we are not moving in the x direction. So the point x uh, the, uh, has been fixed and the point y is moving. That is, it is moving from 0 to 2. Therefore, we can make it clear that the integration needs to be taken with respect to y. So that's why this integration limit of integration will be taken from 0 to 2 and the entire integrand you know, will be converted into the terms of y using this relation. So that's how we will be uh, calculating this and the procedure has uh, will be similar to the uh, one which is explained in the last example. 
So, and uh, similarly, when we will take this second path, when we will take this second path, in this one, we will see that this point y has been fixed now. The point, the coordinates of the point y has been fixed to 2 and now the point x is moving from 0 to 4. Therefore, the integrand needs to be integrated with respect to x. Therefore, the entire integrand should be converted in terms of x and the limit of x will be 0 to 4. So, I leave this uh, question for you to solve and you can match your answer. The final answer will be the final answer will be 10 minus 8 iota. So, you can you can solve the question using the methodology which has already been explained in the question 1 and then you can match your answer. The, the logic was that how to take this uh, direction and path in uh, consideration. In the second part of the video, we have learned about how to calculate the contour integral when we have taken uh, the curve C has been taken as a combination of more than one curve that is C1 and C2 in the first example and in the C in the next example, the C was a closed curve but we have been restricted to follow the path from Z equals to 0 to 2i and then 2i to 4 plus 2i. So, uh, in the same question can be solved by taking another path also that is we can move on on the x axis now. So, from 0 to 4 and then 4 to 4 plus 2i. So, any path can be taken and the contour integral will be same, will be uh, coming out to be same if it is continuous which is very clear from the uh, real and imaginary part that it has to be continuous. So, uh, that is all about contour integral, simply connected region and multiply connected region. For more detail of the subject, you can refer to the book from Eschan Publishing details of which is given here and link is given in the description box. I am sure you must have liked the video. Please do like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon for notification for upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.